Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Sunshine DT24R multimeter. It's got some really cool features, so let's get into the video. Let's take a look at the Sunshine DT24R rotary dialed automatic range multimeter. As a tech, one of the things that I'm constantly using is a multimeter, mainly looking for continuity in diode mode and voltage. So let's start by opening up this package and we'll take a look and see what comes inside the box. All right, our first look at it, we've got our instruction manual. I'm already liking the size. My other one is big and bulky and this fits nicely in the hand. And we've got some batteries and we've got a few different types of leads. We've got one for measuring temperature and we've got our black and our red probes and they come with the correct tip for what we need to do. Because testing some of the components with even just a tip like this, where it is somewhat refined, doesn't compare to the tips that are even smaller. Go ahead and install the batteries, which I will say it is nice to have AA batteries because almost all of the ones that I've used use the nine volt batteries. Go ahead and throw those in, put back the screw. It already came on. I'm gonna take the black and red probes. I'm gonna put red here on this side black in the middle and just get out a random logic board and I've got it set in auto and let's see what it decides to to show me the touching ground it definitely shows continuity put my red probe on ground and and it's really intuitive it knows exactly kind of what I'm trying to go for looking just for continuity down by there but if I really wanted to I could force it into the mode that I'm looking for by turning the dial I'd be able to get the same value. So you've got the dial up here that allows you to change what you're testing for. You can also just toggle back and forth with the left and the right buttons here. And this could definitely come in handy if you are, say, a technician in a field and you're trying to test a, a capacitor on like an AC unit or you're in a house, you actually have a flashlight, which is convenient. Turning it on and off is really simple with the center button. And if I needed to test output, then I would just put over the red probe over here and whatever I'm testing can't exceed the 20 amps. I know I'm just barely touching the surface, but so far the fact that it has this auto where it can auto detect what I'm trying to get at, that right there is kind of a game changer for me. We'll do one more test. Go ahead and swap out these probes. And we'll switch it to temperature. And we'll see how accurate it is with my rework station. And I've got my rework station set at 450, but it runs a little hot. So I'm assuming we're gonna be seeing a fluctuation about 20 to 30 degrees higher, which is kind of what I'm expecting to see. And what I'm seeing here is it's, yeah, there's 30, but it's about 20. We even could get up to 70. So that's kind of unique. Overall, the numbered display, it's really nice, big, nice contrast between the black and the numbers, which means it's going to be really, really easy to read. Being able to quickly toggle, it's quite nice. So if you're looking for a multimeter that's got you covered basically on everything that comes with the right probes, this is definitely an option I would pick. All right, and there we go. I really love the size of this unit and everything that it can do so far. I'm excited to use it for an actual repair. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If there's a product on Volvo Centric's website that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.